Hi, how are you? My name is Mauricio Sangüesa and I'm from Lima, Peru. Maybe you are asking yourself, where? Yes, it's in South America and let me tell you something about it. Do you know Machu Picchu? The Incas, right? Do you like llamas? Do you like alpaca coats? Well, you got it. We also know for having one of the best world cuisines, we have a special dishes like ceviche, mmm, fresh fish, roasted chicken, mmm, but we like the most guinea pigs. Yes, deep fried guinea pigs. Mmm, wow, delicious. Maybe some of you are watching our vegans, and right now you are thinking, oh, that's disgusting. But you know what? It's a rich culinary heritage from the Andes, and we're eating guinea pigs for thousands of years now. So you have to deal with it. Okay, this is not travel channel, and let's continue with the interview. Okay. My works have always included images of surreal and bizarre within an nightmarish context. I have realized that audiovisual medium is the best way for me to share my vision. The viewer can enjoy works regardless of their background because dreaming is a universal experience. Uh, to this, I use live stop motion techniques with photographs, or in this case, I use digital drawings to represent the imaginary odd city. I use applications like, like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Premiere to create a new brave environment. When I was still in art school, I experimented with as many different types of mediums as possible so that I could get a good idea of what interests me the most. So in 2003, after a year of attending a visual art school, the frontman of a Peruvian punk rock band named Uncertain Future, that's the name of the band, noticed a cardboard robot suit I had made for that year's annual exhibit and asked me if I wanted to do a video clip for one of his songs. So using that same robot suit. The video was shown on MTV Latin America channel for many months. During the next four years at school, I started to make more videos, including short films in a standard definition until new technologies gave me the opportunity to make them in full uh, high definition quality with no budget at all. Artistically, I'm very much a globalized culture product. My influences are from a number of European, Asian, North American, as well as South American artists However, all the locations I have used in my videos are here in Lima, Peru. Therefore, one can argue that my projects contain Peruvian elements, specifically in the context of location, backgrounds, personalities, and lighting, while still using universal themes and stories that have to do with what Carl Jung called the collective unconscious. Okay, so my video animation called Labyrinth is a free version of the myth of Theseus and the Minotaur, but strangely reduced to a body, masculine, isolated, a single post-pandemic body in a city with thousand corners and the tours, but empty. The title also evokes the idea of the city as an infinite labyrinth, as Jorge Luis Borges saw it in his book.
Okay, so through the centuries, dreams have been to many cultures around the world the images that speak of the future. And in modern times, dreams were seen as a connection to the unconscious and a place of exploration and analysis. Today, these morbid and extremely disturbing dreams are associated with symptoms of mental illness. And this self-transformation and dissociation is a physical or a mental metamorphosis. Well, because I think the theme is related with my works and there's not much information about Peruvian contemporary artists around the world. So I heard about the call and I thought this is a great opportunity to share my video to, to other people. You can follow my YouTube channel in the description below and my Instagram account for the latest news also in the description below. So thank you very much to all the Cuna Festival team and thank you for watching. Greetings for, from Lima, Peru. Ciao.